if in this life alone we have hope, we have all men most miserable. That's why some of us are so miserable, because all our hope is here. Hmm. The disciples who walked behind Jesus said to him, Jesus, will there be some signs? What shall be the signs of your coming and the end of the world? Sometimes I take up my paper, a daily observer, whatever paper I get, and I read it. And I hear about bombings. I pull up today's paper. Atrocities, rapes, kidnappings. I never go far. Antigua, on the age, double homicide, double homicide. Yes, as you flick through the paper, and then there's a section at the back that tells you world events. This flooding here, how much dead, this, and all these atrocities and all these horrific things that are happening. And as you look at it, all what's happening today, I say, my God, one day all of this will come to an end. Let me remind you today, it's not going to always be like this. Jesus says, I am coming back to done this dance where the wickedness of men God going to put it you believe men going to have wicked reign upon this earth forever hmm? you believe that, that, that God the holy God of all the universe is going to look down and watch them wickedness go on forever young people say five ever it's not going to happen it's coming to an end when, what shall be the signs? And tell us when and of the end of the world. Let me tell you, as believers in Jesus Christ, we have to believe some strange things. We have to believe that a virgin gave birth. That God put on skin and dwell among us. And we, are, and we better, and we have to know when men investing and killing and selling them soul for more pieces of land, in, the, in this rat race car life, we have to know that one day this thing coming to an end. And you have to be careful because Jesus said, where a man's heart is, there shall his treasure be. Mm 